first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this mistake series video we will be seeing some of the mistakes that usually every student used to do at the beginning of learning aptitude for the competitive exams or even i have seen some students are making these kinds of mistakes in the competitive exam itself so these kinds of mistakes usually happen only because of the time pressure in their exams because student have to solve the question within 20 seconds or within 30 seconds so because of the time pressure i have seen many students or usually they used to do these kinds of silly mistakes on their exams that is especially on the mathematics so in order to avoid those kinds of mistake so this mistake series video will definitely help you to avoid such a mistakes in the upcoming competitive exams so don't forget to watch all the complete mistake series video so that it will be very very helpful if you are preparing for the competitive exams so and one more important thing so many students those who are asking all my videos all my feel free to learn videos in offline either it can be a pen drive mode or it can be sd card mode where you can get the pen drive and you can able to watch all my videos what i posted on my channel feel free to learn in offline so get the pen drive or get the sd card start learning for the upcoming competitive exams if you want any details how to purchase it whatsapp us so our team will contact you soon so thank you so much and now let me move on to the mistake series videos so friends here is the video number six that is on mistake series on the topic simplification so just see the question point two division 0.08 into 1.2 is equal to question mark so definitely by seeing the question itself you know we will definitely make a mistake and i have seen many students those who ate mathematics will not solve this question because of the decimal point right so even while we multiply two decimal point we will make a mistake even when addition we make a mistake here it is a division 0.2 division 0.08 if it is a decimal point in multiplication addition or division i have seen many students will make a mistake even some experts even i usually make mistake while solving these kinds of decimal multiplication division etc so better in in order to avoid all those kinds of mistake the only way is removing the decimal point that will be the best way to solve a question which in a simplification question which has a decimal point right so first what i'm going to do is each and every number which has a decimal point i'm going to remove the decimal point just see here how i'm going to remove the decimal point here is 0 0.2 right so this 0 0.2 can be written as 2 by 10 understood or not right so 0 0.2 can be written as 2 by 10 so 2 by 10 is 0 0.2 right so i'm just going to remove all the decimal points so division right i'm not going to divide anything now division multiplication addition i'm not going to do all those things first target i'm going to remove all the decimal points so 0 0.08 can be written as 8 divided by 100 understood or not multiplication 1.2 so 1.2 can be written as 12 divided by 10 is equal to question mark so finally now i am happy because I here by looking at this question I don't have any decimal values now it is easy to multiply and divide just see here this can be written as 2 by 10 division converting into multiplication 100 by 8 into 12 by 10 is equal to question mark so now 10 and 10 we can cancel this 100 so similarly 1 twos are 2 4 twos are 8 cancel it 3 times the question mark is equal to 3 so just see here how easy it is right so always remember that wherever you see the decimal value numbers so better remove the decimal value numbers first and then multiply do addition do subtraction whatever be based on the question right so do not divide like this i have seen many students used to do this 0 0.08 they divide 0 0.2 0 0.0 don't do that it's it's completely waste of time in the exams and there are more and more chances of making a mistake so here i have taken another example question so that will be definitely helpful for you just see the question 0.3 into 9.3 division 3 divided by 3.6 is equal to question mark see we are we have to numerator we have a separate part denominator we have a separate part we have to find the numerator value and then we have to divide that by 3.6 so first target what you need to do remove all the decimal points right so 0.3 can be written as 3 by 10 so 9.3 division 3 can be written as 93 by 10 
division 3 is yes or no right so 9.3 when you remove that 9.3 can be written as 93 by 10 so division 3 so completely divided by 3.6 so 3.6 can be written as 36 by 10 now oh, it is easy or not right so what are the remaining numbers here so 3 by 10 into 93 by 10 so division 3 can be written as 1 by 3 right so completely divided by 36 by 10 so we can cancel it 10 and 10 we can cancel it and similarly cancel this this becomes 31 so what are the remaining values that we have here is so 3 into 31 right 3 into 31 divided by 10 so bring this to the numerator which is 31 by 36 so cancel it so 3 times 1 so this will be 12 times right 1 2 so 31 by 120 so 31 by 120 will be the answer for this question easy or not right it's very easy always remember that wherever you find the decimal point remove the decimal point first i will make many mistakes i too will make many many mistakes while solving time and work question and because time and work question will be mostly like 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 9 like that right so in that 1 by 9 we will get 0 point something 0 0.3 something so i usually make a mistake on all these decimal value so i hope you too may will make a mistake on some while solving a simplification question so hereafter kindly don't do that so in order to avoid such a mistakes in the exams better remove the decimal point if it is 0 0.3 write as 3 by 10 if it is 9.3 write as 93 by 10 if it is 9.33 write as 933 by 100 then divide multiply surely you will get the answer right so thank you so much in this uh, uh, sixth or seventh i don't know fifth or sixth sixth or video so we have learned one important mistake that is based on a decimal point so friends and one more important thing in my feel free to learn platform we are providing one course that is how to make uh, videos education videos on a youtube platform so we will teach you all the techniques because i have seen many students who are keep on asking me i want to share the knowledge to the other students how i can make a videos proper education videos on a youtube platform so this is a green screen video you can able to see the background is completely green screen i am using a software a tab and a pen so i will teach you all the steps right how to make a proper education videos and how to start your youtube channel where you should invest money and where should not invest your money and wasting your money is not needed so if you if you have a passion of teaching or if you like you want to share your knowledge to the other students by teaching and youtube or various platform we will definitely help you how to make a proper education videos it will be a complete paid course i will told you already i've told you why it is paid everything so in case if you have any details whatsapp us we will we will help you to join in the private class and we will make you and we will help you to make an education videos on your own so thank you so much friends for watching this video bye